This is the RF X600 generator and the ATX600 automatic tuner. Power switches for each are here on the front. Power is fed to the ATX600 through the tuning device, which is connected with a cable to the generator. It operates on 120 volts. We turn power on here and here. There are different switches to, to do many different things here. The, the ones I'm going to concentrate on here, we have our forward power, our RF off and on. Our set point is here. We can program the set point by pushing this. and shows us what we have it set to and what our max power is set to. You change your max power here, your limit switch is here, and your set point for the power out is here. And you can see I said I changed that, the power level changes. Up on the ATX, uh, you have a manual set point. You also have power and position, which is most likely where you're going to be watching. Uh, it's showing now it's in the tune and shunt positions. So these are indicating uh, where in the spectrum that the capacitors in the tuner are set at currently and by turning our RF on on the generator we're getting a hundred and 198 uh, output with 15 reflective power when we auto tune we just push this button it auto tunes and you can see that since we were able to manually put in these numbers, they haven't changed because we're at the best set point that it's seeing. Uh, because we're going into a perfect load, which is a 50 ohm resistance, so we're able to set that pretty uh, I, uh, carefully. Okay. On here, I'm going to change these in manual. I'm going to move this up here. And you can see now we have 198 watts and roughly 5960 reflective power. And when I push auto tune, it should go back to the original. And as you can see, it has. When I take it out, it goes back to the position that I manually set. I'm going to put this one down. to get our best reflective power again. And I'm going to increase the shunt position. Again, we have a large amount of reflective power. I'm going to hit auto again. And it finds the best tuning position. And I take it out of auto, it goes back to where I had manually set it. During initial setup of this, I have a uh, another unit here that is not operational, but I wanted to show where uh, some of the components were if we take the lid off of this auto tuner. Um, in here are two are places where you can load up to three different capacitors of fixed size. Uh, they are secured by this plate and then screwed into this base plate here. So you can change out different values, whatever you need for your application. There's also a capacitor here, which is in series. Uh, that can be changed also uh, if to a different value if necessary. On the rear, you'll notice uh, I've got this open here. This is the drive mechanism for the uh, variable capacitors that you adjust with the tuning knobs on the ATX. The motors are here, the uh, belts assemblies are here, and the uh, resistance pots are here. These, uh, uh, in conjunction with adjustments here and here, um, and you may either have to loosen the pot or you loosen the screws on the shaft, um, and adjust these for an open and closed uh, mechanism so that the tuner knows where start and stop is basically, but I wanted to point out where this is located and what it looks like behind here. There is a procedure 
to adjust these, which will be included with the manual. I wanted to point out that I can put this at max power. You can see we're at 600 watts. And we've got a reflective power of 45. Got a little mismatch there. Should be able to clear that up. And so we have a reflective power of 48 watts, uh, which is less than 10%. So that is acceptable for, uh, for this tuner.